Yeah, dear, dear ladies and gentlemen, it is really, really a great pleasure being here with you at the World Surgery Tour. And today we want to focus on a topic which is very interesting to me. It is how to save the meniscus. We all know meniscal lesions are very, very common and the re revision rate after suturing is up to 30%. So there's a wide place of augmented meniscal healing. And today we want to focus on a technique called AMMR technique, which is autologous matrix-based uh, meniscal repair. I am very, very delighted to have two skilled surgeons at my side who will show you how to do this AMMR technique. On the one hand, it is Professor Piontek from uh, Poznan. He is head of the clinic group called Reha Sport, and he is associated with the local university. He is the president of the Polish Arthroscopic Society, and I'm sure he's the one who has most experience with the AMMR technique. And on the other hand, there's Sebastian Leuthäuser. He is a consultant in a spe special sports department here in Cologne. So, here are the surgeons. Hi. 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 Hi, guys. Hello. So, we've been knowing each other for a long, long time. And we're very happy uh, to share our experience with you throughout the world as friends. Um, today, the event is supported by the company Geistling. Geistlich, thanks a lot. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be uh, possible to realize this kind of event. And the event is split into two parts. The first part is that Tomek will give us a theoretically deep dive into the uh, topic of uh, the meniscal repair, and after that we will go to the life surgery um, after that. So we'll start with the presentation of Tomek. Are you um, looking forward to the event as much as I do? Yeah, yeah. thank you very much for the mm. invitation, really, mm. Uh, mm. Justus, mm. my friend, thanks a lot. Uh, I would like to you know, um, dedicate this talk and my operation for my colleagues in Ukraine, because there's a lot of friends there. We are a good community. Mm. And I would talk about, I would like to talk about the meniscus, because why we, we would like to treat the meniscus, because we know exactly that meniscus is the key for atrocities. If we lost meniscus, we lost our knee, and the future will be, um, you know, um, atrocities, and then uh, yesterday day means the uh, endoprothesoplastic. But uh, if we are focused on the complex meniscus stairs, we can say that we have a lot of maturation, we have the degenerative long-term, uh, the chronic radial tears, is a lot of problems in such a meniscus and the, the, the question is that we can really, really uh, save the meniscus, that if we will try to use all inside sutures or we will try to use the inside out sutures, we can, we, we can achieve the good results. Yes, we can, but the failure rate is, 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 is big. If you are, we are uh, talking about the chronic cases um, like the complex uh, tears. Uh, we know, for example, that if we will use some kind of sutures, we can get the better results. And from the cadaver studies, we know that this type of uh, sutures, uh, the best, for example, is that, that we can achieve the good results in the special radial tears, because I think the radial tears are very difficult for our treatment. But we've done, uh, we, by Polish Arthroscopy Society, the, the work, we asked the 200 um, orthopedic arthroscopic surgeons about what they will do with such a flap tear uh, in the patient, like you see here, um, um, uh, with, uh, with, with such a difficult for so suturing when we have, we have all zones involved in, in sutures. And the answer was the removing of uh, such a meniscus. And um, the really, this is only one key what we are can do. And the other uh, complex story, for example, this very difficult one, and uh, in, in the age of, for example, 40 years, the, mostly our friends and we are normally resect. 
and this is the 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 key the, the question is that really is the um, the proper uh, indication for mastectomy we know from 40 40 years uh, that um, meniscus is divided in three zones red red white and white and everybody is agreed that if we suture in the red white the, the red zone that we can achieve the good result but what happened with the white zone because the the we think uh, we thought that there was not possibility for healing but this is of course the part where the complex three are mostly um, involved and but we know from the theoretical way and for animal models that the, a lot of cells proteogenic cells exist also in the white zone and the same amount like in the red zone and maybe this is the key that we can achieve also good results but the question is how to improve that the the healing of the with the, the, the with the cells of course is a lot of people are thinking what to do one of the way is to use the uh, a blood clot putting in, in, in to the to the meniscus in the, in the cleavage there presented for many authors from Korea from United States Cotrodero presented good results with such a, um, a such a cases also we can improve in with the, the other procedures uh, written by uh, colleagues in, in, in Korea or uh, use the some substitute of the meniscus this is also the key for the for the treatment but uh, 30, uh, 30 years uh, ago, uh, idea of, of wrapping become also from um, uh, Charles Henning. He used it for the wrapping the um, fascia lata, fascia shelf, and he presented his good results in very difficult um, uh, tears like the chronic radio, radio uh, tears. In 2010, in Poznan, we met Professor Roland Jakob to accept the idea to use the collagen membrane for wrapping, not only for the stabilized meniscus, because the, the, the collagen is not for stabilized meniscus. The collagen is for, to, for biological adherence, for biological improvement of the healing. And idea of Professor Jakob, and we accepted in arthroscopy way, um, is to, to stabilize meniscus is the first very important thing. Then after stabilization, and if we have the involved and uh, white zone, and we know exactly that normally uh, the healing will be not good if we will do just alone without any improvements, biological adjustments. We use the collagen membrane and collagen membrane, between collagen membrane and meniscus, we put bone marrow. Or in other countries, we can, if it's not allowed, we can also do microfracturing of the notch and then we can achieve the, the bone marrow. Why chondroguide? Because chondroguide consists of the two layers. This is the, the rough. Um, uh, surface and the rough surface is very friendly for cells and uh, dense surface is the barrier for for out, going out the, the, the cells from from the from the membrane and uh, our indication um, for wrapping is uh, meniscus is the augmentation for meniscus suture repair and white and and uh, red white zone also for failure repair uh, suture repair if we have not good results after for example um, uh, suturing before and for complex tear when we have the involved in, in, in tear all zones of the meniscus um, <coughs> And um, this is the presentation of the case that I think that the, 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 the key of, of our operation is the, not the, the, the person 40 years old, a man with the, uh, not contact injury, twisting typical for, for chronic injury, symptoms, pain and swelling and lacking uh, in, in, uh, during flexion and uh, pain um, uh, in room uh, in flexion 120. Um, also McMurray test positive, uh, Lachman was negative and radiograms correct on also in the slope. And MRI, you can see here and mark in the, the red, this does the involve the complex tear, like here with the radial tear and the sagittal, you can see here in the MRI. And also this is involved or part of the meniscus, meniscus in uh, just to the, to the, uh, from the white to the red zone. And what we found in arthroscopy, you see the very difficult uh, third, this is the, uh, the fourth, uh, third zone by uh, Zdanowicz Migielski and involve all part of the meniscus. Always questions. 
how to treat such a tear. The non-operative is, the, of course, the, we can do nothing. Partial meshectomy, this is the most popular, or meniscus repair. The radial tear, we know exactly, you are agree also, colleagues, that it's very difficult for, for to have the good results in radial tear. And if we are agree with repair, what, what kind of sutures we will use? The outside in or all inside, inside out, the others, other sutures is also a question. Or we will do some biological attachments, PRP or BMAC or exogenous fibrin clot or wrapping, what I would like to present. And what we've done. This is um, uh, the, the all inside uh, uh, suture, Novostitch Pro. Uh, this is the for uh, suturing, suturing all inside. We try to first connect uh, rupture of meniscus together. First, I would like to again say that, that the most important is stabilized meniscus. And if we here we use the two sutures to combine together the the sutures, of course we can use the other possibilities as cross sutures what we presented before. I, I I like I'm very friendly with inside out, and today I would like to present you the inside out sutures because this is a very very good sutures I think. Then in this case we combine the all inside together with inside out. This is. Um, the collagen, we will present later how to do that in, 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 on cadaver. This is the instrument GOAT. Uh, it's very, it's, this instrument will be, we, we established this instrument for easier putting membrane inside. Always we put the membrane, the rough um, um, surface onto the meniscus. And then first we stabilize the suture all inside. This is the um, fast fix. And uh, very precisely to be careful that membrane is on the meniscus, and again, a rough uh, surface is on the meniscus. And then we remove um, our instrument, and precisely we uh, suture uh, membrane with the meniscus. We planned before to stabilize meniscus together also with the membrane. And this is the uh, inside out, the needle, not absorbable. I prefer not absorbable. Always is discussion with colleagues that we should do not absorbable and absorbable and not absorbable together. Uh, then if we sure that everything is on the place, we bend 10 times. If the membrane is still on, on the meniscus, like here you see um, the cover, the, uh, the um, the rupture of the meniscus to take bone marrow. In my country, it's allowed to take bone marrow and inject the meniscus. It is not. Of course, you can do microfracturing uh, on the notch. We will present later. And in the, we sack the water, the solane. It is the dry arthroscopy. And then in the needle, we just inject the, 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 the bone marrow uh, between the membrane and the meniscus. And this is the, the same the, 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 the patient. We use nanoscope arthrex to see it, how it looks after uh, six weeks. You s we will see here some tissue around. We don't know exactly what is it, but some crea created the tissue. And then after 18 months, you see the meniscus in, 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 in place in the red mark. This is the small cyst. I think this is dependent for the, for the sutures, but it's not pain, painful and this is okay. But it's very important is that we have this meniscus inside is not extruded, it's very important, and also uh, cartilage is good condition. And also you will see here before operation and the healed part also, this is the, the sutures um, uh, visible in, in MRI. And um, this um, wrapping technique, also uh, the colleagues from the United States are agree with the hours algorithm written by the group of the Scott Rodeo. You will see the augmentation technique exists with the PRP fibrin clot also of wrapping on the hands of the doctors all over the world. And we have some experience. Now, in this 13 years, we've done about 500 operations. And I would like to present first from the fifth 42 patients, I uh, would like to present the 14 only, the, the, the 14 only on the meniscus, what we've done, and meniscus with ACL. Our result published there, uh, uh, last publication was 10 years observation we've done a couple uh, weeks ago. And this is the group, typical chronic case with, with 40 years old, the length about um, uh, three uh, centimeter. And this is a uh, result, if very important for this slide, if we compare KDC and Lisholm, 
um, uh, before operation and between two, um, uh, five and ten years, we have the, the results very similar. It means that the, the wrapping healed the meniscus and meniscus still work in, in the knee and support the cartilage was the most important thing for our operation. And if we compare the only meniscus and only menis meniscus with ACL, we see also good results. It means that in from this slide that we know that if we do ACL reconstruction with suture of the meniscus, that we can achieve better results because we know that this adhesions, biological adhesions, blood, blood, blood clot within coming from the tunnels um, helped healing the meniscus. But if we have the same results, it means the wrapping with bone marrow taken to the collagen works in the same, the same good um, uh, level. This means that membrane works not only ACL reconstruction. And also, this is an, an, an observation in this home, and we do, of, of course, the MRI, and we see that uh, the, the results in, 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 in worms what in, um, show us that how cartilage uh, looks in, in MRI in, in, in the patient is also in the same level between five and ten years. That means that this suturing meniscus supported by biological adhesions works. And also, we would like to explain why we have such a clinical results. And we cooperate with a Laboratory of Applied Biotechnology with prof group of the Professor uh, Jakub Rybka. And we compare our bone marrow and concentrated bone marrow in uh, two possibilities, with the chondroguide and with the control group without chondroguide. And we, with chondroguide, after six weeks, we, had, we have a bigger amount of the cells still living on, on the membrane. And better results, of course, is the concentrate bone marrow. This is natural. And also we've done to, to say why chondroguide works. And we, we have the, the two groups and create with macrofax 1 and macrofax 2. And if we compare the control group and chondroguide group, we can achieve more um, uh, more uh, expression and uh, gen expression of the the um, regeneration um, enzymes in, in the mem with membrane than without membrane. This means that collagen support cells for growing and for healing. And this is some cases. This is the patient 35 years old with you know difficult tear. This is the um, a cleavage tear, and very often this cleavage tear provides for extrusion of the meniscus. And this is after two years. The very the, the, the clinical results okay. The, the meniscus is still in place; it's not extruded. After five years, still in place; it's not extruded, and the cartilage is the with good condition. And after ten years, this is the ten years older, ten kilo older. And uh, at that time, I was not focused for for all alignment. Now I'm very like you also. And uh, it was a small virus this patient had, and why I can observe some cysts. Uh, the, the, the generation of the of, of the cartilage and the, the tibia site, but for me very important is the the meniscus stay st still is in the place. If we will gone, if we will resect this meniscus, I think he will be prepared for the uni. And the other 46 years woman came to me with the very big size of the meniscus with really the generation, the complex stir uh, here, and you see on the back also the the, the degeneration of the meniscus, and this is the view for arthroscope, and we suture that, and we cover with the chondroguide, and we saw in the two years, the, sorry for this condition of this MRI, but it was the one and a half um, uh, Tesla, uh, meniscus is in place, but more important, after five years, we still see something not quite nice meniscus in the cigata plane, but the patient had the very good uh, clinical results. And she came to me after 10 years in the age of 56, uh, and you see some happens, the meniscus looks better. I don't know why. I don't, I can answer the question, but 56 years woman still exists with the own meniscus, with good shape and, and, and sport character. And the conclusion of my talk is that uh, um, this is our MMI's alternative for, for treatment, of, of course, the preservation of the complex treatment. Also, 
with very good mo results we can pres we present after and published in five years and ten years and um, also the this meniscus wrapping works together with the ACL reconstruction thank you very much for your attention Yeah. So hello again. Hello, hello again. <laughs> oh, you are here. Oh my God. Again. <laughs> okay. This is the knee. This is the. Uh, is it the right or right, 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 uh, so right? So which right. one is the better one for you, left or right? In the or beginning, when I started my work, always mm. was the right was the better because the instruments was on the right side. Yeah. But now, yeah. of course, after a couple of years. <laughs> Is the, doesn't mm. matter. Doesn't but we're in the cadaver lab now. I would be interested to know, like in real life, what is the positioning of the patient before you start surgery? It, I, I prefer the sitting mm. position. I know that a lot of my colleagues uh, do a standing mm. position. But uh, for me, I, I uh, learned from the Professor Kruczynski in the beginning. He was mm. my teacher, the first one, Professor Traska, and then I, I was sitting. And uh, this is also because I, in the beginning I have no assistant, and then I mm. can use it myself, everything, right? Because I use my hip, mm. and then I can open the medial compartment. And also, if I operate ten hours, then better is sitting, <laughs> just protecting my back. <laughs> That's yeah. why. Yes. This is the typical access. We know exactly this is the anterior med lateral and lateral medial. We do a typical this is instrument and tower for Smith and Nephew. And do you always do the two portals right away? Or no, no. First, of course, I prepare the, the, the process uh, beginning with the, 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 the lateral side. Mm -hmm. And then using the, the needle, I try to find the best uh, place for the uh, medial. And, uh, but if you've got a rupture of the lateral meniscus? Of course, then, uh, then you we can observe the, the lateral here, right, mm -hmm. meniscus. And if, depend of the access, mm -hmm. if the instrument uh, is available on the medial side, mm -hmm. I use medial side or lateral, I can oh, change okay. always. We know exactly this um, um, for reconstruction. Mm -hmm. I see some colleagues use the, the, the third um, approach to the mm -hmm. knee or also for meniscus. But we, we will use uh, uh, here typical tool. If mm. we would like to, for example, for the treatment, the, the ramp lesion, or to see what happened here, then we can do also access for the medial posterior portal. But here we, we can see medial meniscus. Um, medial meniscus with the rupture. Here is the, the rupture of the meniscus with barrier between the, and the red and white zone. You see here. This is, uh, of course, we can use it here only uh, suturing without, but, but I would like to present you also the, uh, the, 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 the wrapping. Uh, this is, uh, of course, very, very difficult. This it has uh, such a beautiful access for the medial side. You agree with me. And why okay. we are using very often pan crusting. Pan crusting, can you give me Sebastian Needle? Pan crusting means that we can uh, lengthening the medial compartment with uh, with using the needle, we can use the needle on the three uh, possibilities. First, I have, I have a question. Maybe we can go a step one, uh, get one step back. Like yeah. it is a hanging position of the knee. Yes, hanging position it? of the knee. Okay. Patient is, is lying normally in my. I ha I, I'm not using the leg holders, mm -hmm. but of course leg holders also exist in, in many mm -hmm. operation theaters. But this means that that we had access for everywhere. Oh, okay. And why? Um, uh, normally, mm. patient is lying and is addicted uh, uh, leg. Mm -hmm. uh, I have the leg here in my legs also, mm -hmm. and an assistant is standing on the lateral side, oh, okay. just here. But we would like to present here the suturing and wrapping and why the Sebastian mm. is sitting here with me on the, my right hand. So, so if we were talking about Sebastian at the moment, what are the typical tasks the assistant needs to do in the AMMR technique? AMMR, yes, this is very uh, important because mm. I think this operation is the couples, mm. assistant and operator is mm. the couple. And um, the couple means that uh, if we start to suture, you will see that if you use the inside out technique, the hands of the assistant are very important because mm. my is the director. Yeah. I just keep my camera and show 
Sebastian where mm. he should use the needle. <coughs> and this is why uh, the two person is mm. important for, for wrapping. Also for keeping um, instrument like goat in mm. hand to precisely be precisely and delicate because this instrument is, is a delicate instrument. The first I will you know, choose the, 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 the portal, of course. We, we choose in this, situ this portal because I have the access for all part of the posterior mm. part of the meniscus. This is the root, this is the corpus of the meniscus. We see here in, in this zone um, uh, the rupture of the meniscus. And if here we have the good a visible mm. meniscus, but if you would like to do pine crusting, we have do in the medial side uh, here, and then uh, for the proximal pot, or we can do also uh, pine crusting mm. in the in, in, uh, distal side, or also we can do through the knee just here, and uh, I learned from my mm. colleagues from Israel just here do pine crusting. You see here, this is the mm. the some. Uh, uh, the, um, anything mm. the part of the, the MCL, MCL mm. but don't don't be scared as everything will heal and and we know exactly there is no and also is improved by papers that everything is okay so it's for, it's probably part of the posterior oblique ligament right yes. the, could I hook? Mm. Uh, uh, the hook probe yeah probe so do you do any Hoffer resection uh, because uh, now the view is excellent, yes, but of is course, it in all cases of course, like that? No, this is the also the first <coughs> key for the beginning. When you hear, we should to, to resect the Hoffa. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Hoffa uh, will close access to the to, 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 to good visit, mm -hmm. vis to see good uh, the, the meniscus, but also uh, Hoffa, if is we, we leave the Hoffa, that very difficult will be pu put mm. here the um, half, uh, half pipe like here, yeah. right? Here will be difficult, and also the gold. So Tomek, not mm. Tomek may, may I ask you the, a question the, uh, the from remember. the festival area? The first always. Tomek, there's Tomek. a question from the yeah. festival. Yes. You, you lost your uh, speaker, so oh, sorry, maybe uh, I can. No, I can I do it for you. Yeah, yes. Maybe I can explain. <laughs> Dani, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Perfect. I will wait for Tomek pretty quick. So you made a mm. great introduction. Uh, we really enjoyed the video. And now a question uh, which came up here is, um, we know that the blood supply of the medial meniscus uh, is different to the blood supply of the lateral meniscus. Yes. And um, did you see any differences in terms of healing of your meniscus wrapping, um, depending on if you do it on the medial side or the lateral side? Thank you very much for your question. Yes, you are agree. You, I agree with you because uh, lateral meniscus is not so very often injured for wrapping because we have the good uh, healing of the lateral meniscus. And if I see in the, the amount of the wrapping of the lateral meniscus is about the 15% if they compare the medial. And the lateral meniscus is mostly um, uh, injury acute with the ACL, and then we can achieve good healing after suturing with the, the acute uh, acute cases. Uh, mostly we have uh, chronic uh, injury, the medial meniscus, and why I think that mostly we do this wrapping in the medial side. But uh, if I see the, um, in the posterior part uh, the, the rupture, the chronic rupture of the lateral meniscus, and also I try to, to, to do this vertical adhesions as wrapping, but it's not so very often. I said the 15, 20 mm. percent of my cases. You agree with my answer? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Well, Thank you I so do, much. But do, the results but are still good. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I compare this the results, of course, and uh, this, yes, they are the same, They're very similar each other. This, I think, depends on the, the indication for the, for the wrapping and the, for suturing of the meniscus. Yeah. And then we have the case. Thank you. Thank you. And normally, probe again. I would like to uh, show you, normally we, we can plan our uh, suturing and wrapping together. In this case, I think if I will use the suturing with the membrane, I can achieve good stabilization of the, the meniscus. But normally, how you saw in the presentation before, if we have, for the example, the radial tear, then first we should suture this, this, this um, uh, radial tear, and then 
plan, of course, the next sutures with the membrane. But here we have the uh, good uh, complete rupture of the, this border between the white and uh, red zone. And I will do first uh, wrapping and then stabilize precisely. But, but when, when is the point that you definitely de decide to do not only a suturing but an AMMR too? This is uh, first uh, ninety percent. I agree with MRI, M M mm. MRI because I think the the good skilled doctor mm. should alone yeah. have the access to the MRI and decide before. This is like the the planning the the battle with for with 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 um, a problem. Mm -hmm. And the better is to be, be prepared to have everything on the table prepared and the membrane and everything that is first of course is the MRI and so, so you start the surgery and the scrub no nurse already I, uh, knows and the, the before membrane operation is I'm with the MRI ah, okay and my clinic mm -hmm. if I uh, do consultation for the patient mm -hmm. and we agree with the plan of our treatment uh, I describe for example the operation then I see the MRI exactly mm -hmm. And I know that I, I think I will do uh, this mm -hmm. wrapping. And uh, the, the final decision always is during operation because mm. this, is the, 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 this is our job, our yeah. work to be, you know, the best what we can do for our patient. And then if I see the rupture meniscus in the white zone and the quality like here, this is not so very uh, degenerative meniscus, it's about 10% of this meniscus here is degenerate. And uh, very often in MRI, in such a cases, we see also the, the problem inside the meniscus. This mm. is the, um, uh, the combined type of the meniscus, clavage and longitudinal heel. Mm -hmm. And then if we see this to um, uh, such, a, such a problem of meniscus, that the, the, the problem also go inside of the meniscus, the corpus is not correct, mm -hmm. then I, I agree with such a problem and do wrapping. S stabilize, of mm -hmm. course, this is the key, and support with, with, with wrapping. So do you understand you're right that you start the surgery with the arthroscopy, diagnostic arthroscopy? Yes. And then you make the definitive decision? Decision, right. And, and also mm. my decision is very important what kind of stabilization I will, need, I, I will use. Mm. Or I will use only uh, all inside, for example. Mm -hmm. And the fast fix, for example, for mm -hmm. the nephew or the others, with Artrix or Striker, they also very good instruments. Or I will use the inside out, or I will do uh, combine. And for this case, we will try to use combined suturing. Yes, we, and we will uh, fast fix because mm. it's in, in a technique of the wrapping and for stabilization inside out. And now to do good inside out mm. uh, sutures, we, we should now, we decided, we do wrapping mm -hmm. and we, we saw the ACL, we saw the lateral compartment, of course, the um, uh, um, anterior, uh, the, prob the cartilage, also the patella. Now we, we decided to prepare our mm -hmm. access for, for the, the wrapping. Inside, for the inside out. And messer. Two messer. And I will do this uh, cut of this, this, this here. And for the atheroscopic portals, do you sometimes use cannulas or no? Oh, uh, very often, and you oh. will see the, the cannulas, no, only half pipe. Ah. Because cannulas okay. for me are not so useful. Mm. Okay. No, I already get a good. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. And then we are mm. coming back to our meniscus. Okay. Okay, we are here, and you will yeah. take the little. Uh, sorry. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the good access, mm. right? It will be a natural way because this is the cadaver. We've done nothing with that, and this is open. And then half pipe. Ah, we will. The uh, we'd like to show you now the Hondro guide. How to how to prepare and what is uh, the there is the guide we're gonna need for the is, uh, wrapping uh, hondro guides right and if we see uh, maybe I'll give you the probe to show the rough sides yeah okay so are there different sizes of the different sizes this is, this is the the rough uh, mm. surface on the other side is of course dense surface and we would like to put membrane on the meniscus with the rough uh, surface like here 
This is the, the dry, but for the preparing we use here, this one, uh, the... Going to wet and... Wet, so yes, this is, is, is so easier for... Mark one side, that it's easier... You, if you would like, mm. we always you can do that, mm. but uh, I don't because I know exactly where is the rough, ah, okay. where is the porous, because it's visible if yeah. you are look, not naturally. And then we take gold. But as you asked, mm. we have like two sizes uh, of the membrane, and yeah, this uh, is it's the always this is the membrane. Huh? What uh, you want to do? Ninety percent, mostly the, what we've done with the wrapping is the membrane um, diameter three and two centimeter because uh, so the, the, if you saw also in my data, mm. the length of the rupture is uh, circa two or three uh, centimeter. Then, then if we use it, that for is enough. And also is the easier for putting inside because mm. then you have this uh, space and to be sure where we put the, our membrane. And always remember that we would like to put the membrane on meniscus in the rough, mm -hmm. rough uh, uh, surface <coughs> and why Give me the goat. Open the goat, please. There we go. And then what, we what's can. What's the reason why it's called goat? What kind goat, of instrument is it? Maybe this you is can instrument give it with inside. the end, sharp ends, mm. and it looks like the ends of the goat. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, mm. I'm from Posen, Poznan, mm. and, uh, and our herb mm. is the go uh, goat. Oh, Two okay. goats ticking together, and why mm. I, I, this is my local patriotism. Oh, okay. <laughs> and. Uh, we put, and I will plan, I will plan to put here in the middle and then you close and then we have prepared membrane mm. to access inside. And also, this is that we put mem to the meniscus and little close and this is very gentle instrument and we will not to push very much. For our working, it's very important always, if I put something to the knee, I use the the half pipe because I don't want to um, be in, mm. in conflict with the hofa or, or other uh, tissues inside. And this is the, the way. And I will give the assistant our uh, membrane. And then we put the goat. I will put my. Give the goat, please. There you go. Yeah. M maybe you can give us the inside. Why did you decide not to do the meniscal suturing first and uh, the meniscal okay. wrapping after that? Again, because if I will use the here, the fast fix, I will mm. stabilize here. Mm. Then I will use the second fast fix to show you ah, how okay. here. And then I will use uh, inside out in this mm. direction because I will cover um, around mm -hmm. because I would like to keep it together and also and I know that we have here injuries meniscus oh, okay. and then I will use it the inside out technique and is a lot of possibilities you mm -hmm. will see that how to uh, uh, protect so today we have two in one yeah. two in one uh, <laughs> fixation yeah <laughs> okay keep it this one yeah mm -hmm. there's the goat we and go. then we put the goat inside right can you remove yes and I put here. And, and do you do any you measuring of the your size your of the defect uh, of the membrane? Like if you see the um, the meniscal tear? Yes. How it do you measure the size of the membrane you want to put in? You can measure with the hook because mm -hmm. you know exactly that the hood uh, they are about uh, five, four millimeters. Mm -hmm. And now exactly I, I count in my mind how the defect ah, is okay. big one and then of course you can use mm. some other measurements but uh, now I'm, I'm thinking this is your experience yes yes and then I will put uh, here can you keep it this one yeah there and you go, go with the yeah Austin, do you do dry Remove or wet this? arthroscopy in those cases I usually do wet mm. um, for me, it's uh, mm. the easiest way, to be honest, to just keep it the way it is, keep the flow on. Yeah. Um, this is usually the way I do it. I try to dry as well first, mm -hmm. but I suture the the tibial side. But mm -hmm. you can decide it's also the femur side. Yeah, but to end it up for me, mm. it's usually also the the wet. Uh, arthroscopy that uh, seems for me the easiest way to to keep mm. it and uh, do the fixation.
Can you take the, the hands from the up? What do you mean? Because I have no good. Okay. Like this? Yeah. And this is the other. So it's nice. He uses the the tip to straighten out the mm. uh, the membrane, which in the beginning is quite challenging, or it was at least for me, since uh, the membrane usually doesn't do what I want. And it's even more difficult here in the cadaver situation, yes. we all know. So now we take <coughs> and tense. And yeah. so give me a second. I will myself. You want to tense it? Or? Yes, I would like to. Here, here you yeah, go. I keep because the that's yes. always I'm doing myself because I, I feel how would have done the same. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we get a better mm. feeling on how mm. tense it is. Yes. It's always... An and especially if you have an assistant you've never yeah. worked with. Mm. Can you keep it? Well? Yes, I keep it. Give me a second. Oh. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go. And then we cut. You, you want cut? me to cut? Yes, it? cut, please. Okay. And we have... We can remove now membrane, right? And we could like now that we hook what we've done. So now as you ma um, manage to do this step, I just want to ask you, what is the most challenging step of those, uh, of the... Most challenging step of this uh, procedure may maybe that always one or is this what I've done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's why I ask you now. Yes, it's already the most challenging <laughs> because this is the co cooperation with the two <laughs> person, right? Mm. This is uh, mm. with assistant and, and doctor, right? Here. Yeah. And uh, yes, we have to, I think we put a lot here, but it's okay, because this still this is the for covering this, yeah. this rupture, what is just behind, you see here, right, mm -hmm. this is the rupture. And we have a lot of membrane here mm. to, to be sure. Now we can uh, uh, use the, the second fast fix for... There we go. And, or we can use the inside out, mm. uh, but I will now present it how, how to do with inside out, okay? We will do inside out. No, no, there yes. we are. Yes. And now is the very important to to your help mm. of your assistant, because you you can rely on him. I know yes. him. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Mm. This is his room. Yeah. So you always start with the medial suturing, right? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, you can. Which one? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, okay, so there we go. And now you have to put the... Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see if I can... To find. I need to open this a little bit. So what, I what is your opinion on some wrinkles of the, of the membrane? Does it matter or... Uh, Sorry? Is w some wrinkles? Yeah. Like, um, do does it matter to the result or is it fine if there are some wrinkles of the membrane? It doesn't matter. Doesn't membrane matter. doesn't mm. matter. Okay. Membrane, I think this is only the Bergerac attachments mm. to keep for the while the ah, cells okay. inside. Okay, go first out, one. yes, mm -hmm. this one. There we go. Yeah, and then we will the second one. Mm. Okay. I L think if we have the covering, covering with the amount it. of the membrane okay. inside, yes. Mm. Yeah. You see it, right? Mm, almost. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it? There we go. <laughs> yeah. We have the second one. Okay, go out. Mm. Yes. And suture. So I see that there are Shit. two very skilled... Good, good, we'll be good. We'll be good. Two very skilled surgeons Just on. working. Yeah. Follow them. Yeah, follow them. Give me a sec. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Mm. Yeah. And then you can... Mm. Want me to cut them off already? Yes. And just... So, uh, mm. Tent. Okay. So I can it see looks that not so nice now, but we will try to to to, to prepare. This is only two sutures. 
we started with two sutures. And but we plan it to, to do a bigger mm. amount of the sutures because mm. we like to stabilize meniscus. But, but I can see that the whole rupture of the meniscus the is covered by the membrane. Yeah, super. Sorry? But I can see that the whole meniscal tear is covered by the membrane. Yes, and so this is my, my, uh, my plan to yeah. cover the membrane Fair and uh, mm. the, the good, uh, the glue. Yeah. Like, you know, the put, because we know exactly that couple mm. in a couple weeks, mm. days, I think, the membranes start to be the gel. Yeah. And this gel, if it will be there, is mm. the, the best solution for yeah. biological attachments. Now the, the probe, please. Mm, yes, there we go. So how many sutures do you usually do to fix the membrane? I usually try to use about uh, five, mm. six sutures, and why mm -hmm. I prefer to using for example, uh, uh, one fast fix and other mm -hmm. inside out, because also for 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 reason is the not so expensive like mm -hmm. uh, like we will use the five six uh, uh, fast fix and also the all mm -hmm. inside um, uh, inside um, uh, anchors yeah. can provide and before it was normally that we can observe an MRI. Uh, MRI uh, sized mm -hmm. round, but now the, the, they are better, the smaller, mm -hmm. and then we can really see the, the better uh, solution of such. Yeah. Now I will try to cover um, uh, exactly here and here to be sure that membrane is on, in, inside, right? And this is for me one thing is always uh, quite important. Uh, at the beginning when I uh, I started it, I always thought it had been nice and flat. Mm. Yes. But in the end, uh, I think you told me too, it doesn't mm. really matter as long as the, c as the tear yeah. is uh, probably covered, the membrane doesn't have to be all mm. flat. Yes, and then again, needle. Okay. Again, doesn't matter or you want... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Second, and you see we can mm. uh, do just in the medial side, and we can avoid the the structure mm. for for the posterior, uh, because we curve mm -hmm. mm. the first one. Yeah, can I do the second yes. one. Yeah. Now there is a lot of water running. Yeah. To be lavage. ah, it's lavage function. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Should we just... Yeah. Is it fine? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Mm-hmm. It's quite nice with mm. the big with the big opening. It's uh, quite easy to get it's it out. Really, for me, sometimes... Usually, usually mm. it's, uh, it can be quite a hassle. The nerve. Yeah. So, and this is, you know, a very good area for healing. And the really, uh, the scar is not so big there. Okay. Okay. Just well, switch well, it's switch actually a safe method to save the soft tissue structures there. Yeah. No water. Water is. Oof! It's quite wet here. Mm. It's not so nice still because we have to use the two sutures. One mm. will be here for the for the here mm. to be covered, and uh, we can use the 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 one cannula. This is also one cannula, as a single cannula, and we will now try to stabilize the upper part because it's mm. for be sure that we will cover a, a good a good condition. But we have the problem with the water. Mm. But I will try. But the visualization is still yes. excellent. Could you? So could you? Mm -hmm. If you curve mm. uh, precisely your instruments, mm. the really you can uh, suture there also of the mm -hmm. posterior part. Okay. And this one. But I understand you really need to know how to do different techniques of meniscal suturing. Yes. To re to, to I think the key for the all mm. biological adherence is not then I will use only the, uh, you know, the membrane. Yeah. But this is mm -hmm. for people who can suture meniscus. Yeah. 
And I think the meniscus surgery, uh, for me now, if mm. I have experienced such a lot mm. of years, this is more difficult mm. than uh, ACL reconstruction. Maybe I said not something popular, mm. but if I have the bigger problem mm. with the good partial meniscectomy with the suturing, yeah. because they the decided where to finish our meniscectomy mm. or to edit together also the, 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 quite the, high. the suturing, right? Mm. And then uh, this is the, 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 mm. the key of good uh, uh, skills of the mm. surgeon. Yeah. So that looks pretty good, yes. to be honest. Yeah. So what is the reason that you do some additional sutures now? I would like to, to, to cover mm. precisely here ah. that because I think if I do just uh, up, upside down one on the end mm -hmm. and I will do that with the fast fix or with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the second, second one. one, for example, will be here. Mm-hmm. So, so what do you do different if you suture a lateral meniscus? Okay. The lateral meniscus is uh, more difficult because mm. I think lateral meniscus, sometimes we have the tight knee mm -hmm. and how to, uh, maybe later I will show you what I mm -hmm. have the key for my uh, lateral meniscus. Always I, I, I cut mm. uh, longitudinal fasciolata because then I can have a bigger access about two millimeters also for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is of course the hiatus is the, 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 the place where mm -hmm. we can do any suturing through inside out mm -hmm. because I, I prefer to stay alone uh, the, the popliteus tendon. Yeah. The, I, I'm having a lot of my colleagues, I agree with that. And uh, this is the mostly if we look at the posterior part of meniscus, mm -hmm. then the inside out is very difficult for doing. Mm. Then you have to use the all inside technique mm -hmm. or uh, and fast fix with others. Mm -hmm. and then it's of course time consuming yeah. and very uh, precisely to be not injured the vessels and, mm -hmm. and everything what we have behind. And it's also very, very mm. important. And we remember here in this mm. case, if, if, we, if we will finish our wrapping, for example, mm. we first we stabilize meniscus and we see such a situation mm -hmm. that we can finish our operation because mm -hmm. we've done what you would like to do. Means that the membrane lies beautiful on the, um, uh, on, on, on the mm -hmm. injured meniscus and lesion, on, on the lesion. But here I, I promise you that I will do also the mm -hmm. stabilize the meniscus here and then I will present you the, the other mm. uh, the, 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 the fast fix mm -hmm. uh, okay go out mm -hmm. and then we will do the, the, the proper uh, sutures for the stabilized the meniscus like I promised you before okay and go you saw here the the combined type of uh, injury it mm -hmm. was the a longitudinal and a cleavage and why I decided to use such a type of sutures. Of course you can do this depend of, of the quality of lesion. Okay, I will put and you will hand this over to you yeah. in a second. No 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 mm -hmm. okay. You want me to yeah, go? Yeah, yes. Great honor. <laughs> okay. okay. And we have everything mm. right I'm sure that the, the lesion mm. is covered and then we bend same times mm. and do ACL, mm. do something and this, you mm. still have the same place position of the meniscus, yeah. you are sure that you've done correctly, of course the hook yeah. and we remember how um, mm. flexible was the meniscus but it's not flexible, mm. right? Yeah, very good. We have everything uh, covered. And now we have the two mm. possibilities. The one possibility is to take bone marrow from, mm. from the notch, because in the previous time, like a lot of my mm. colleagues, we took from, from the tibia. tibia. Mm. But the patient uh, had the mm. painful area mm. there because mm. this is a very sensitive place. Mm. And why I decided to, to, to check the quality of the mm -hmm. bone marrow compared with the 
Ilya Crest, Tibia and from FEMA. Mm -hmm. And because it's very nice to take the, the for example, bone from uh, just above the, for example, the ACL, there's no problem to, to use it that. Sorry. Very easy. Is that I think mm -hmm. the most uh, easy is to take the, uh, sorry, uh, from the medial side mm -hmm. because you have here the good <coughs> um, visible of PCL yeah. and you can go through them and go guide the hand okay. yes you want me? yeah this is the typical typical needle for the bone marrow yeah this is a cheap one yes enough and then we you see this one uh, it's here right yeah and then uh, it will be difficult of course because mm. it's not living body but uh, sorry yeah we go out with this one the, i i prefer mm. the 3 and 50 yeah 50 Jeanette, and then you take the bone marrow like here this is the pressure so, so it's proven if it's, it's yes. a cadaver yes this is true very difficult to improve <laughs> the cadaver and maybe i will give mine right but oh it's coming you see mm. <laughs> But this is the anemia, basically, yeah. right? <laughs> and then it's enough about one, two mm. millimeters, really, mm. because you don't want to concentrate. Mm. If you prefer concentration, mm. because I also presented this the mm. bigger amount, always we have to do that from the ilia crest, because mm -hmm. that we have the big amount to concentrate. And then we have the needle, right? For example, you can turn some from here, right? The mm. Okay. Second for situation, what mm. we can do is, of course, microfracturing. Microfracturing here. Could you get the, from microfracturing? Yes. Do, do you have experience with both, with bone marrow aspirate and microfracturing? Do you think uh, it's no? My colleagues in Germany same? has you. You yeah. also yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's uh, not available. Mm. You you can't the law. Yeah. Always we we can do in Poland and mm. no problem is to to do that. And then why I I try now mm. I will try to do with the professor team mm. of the professor uh, Ripka mm. to to compare okay. results with the concentrate. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Here. So you just do uh, the microfractures as you yes, have like done in the past uh, yes. for cartilage repair yeah. therapy. Yes, yeah. All right. And this is, I think, yeah. enough. But in, in, the, in, in the other situation, you do dry arthroscopy, you suck the water, mm -hmm. you suck the water. Like here. It's really available. Mm -hmm. It's really uh, easy <coughs> if you have the bigger uh, blooding situation. Mm -hmm. Then you can again, again, and you have this correct. Can you give me the this one? Okay, and this is our serine with with needle, mm -hmm. long one. You can take the needle from anesthesiology or the, the other. Mm -hmm. You just inject between here, and you see how the fluid is coming out. And this is the end of the operation. Also, you ask me mm. what uh, the steps. Mm. I do all this meniscus suturing, mm. wrapping the ACL and the cartilage. On the end, I take the bone marrow. and the mm. end, I finish with the dry arthroscopy and this is it. But do you think if you do with ACL uh, combined, is it, is it necessary? Can, no, no, no it's it not necessary. Big, big no, this hole is my hobby. Yes, and this is my ho ho mm. hobby to do that. Okay. Right? Yeah. But normally I think it's enough to, to use it because the membrane, the hondrogite mm. works like the sponge. And I have only experience with the hondrogite because I start do that mm. and it's, it's impossible now for me to change my knowledge. Mm. Uh, I don't know how the other collagens works. I hope we'll see in the future because I think this mm. technique method will develop because I, I again I would say that this is the biological adjustments for mm -hmm. better healing of the meniscus the key is sutures the key to and why I think education and very thank mm. you very much again the Geistlich and, and uh, this um, mm. uh, ward surgery tour that we can educate the people because mm. education is the key for our patients